Control valves are the unsung heroes in process control and instrumentation. They play a crucial role in regulating the flow, pressure, temperature, and level of fluids, ensuring that industrial processes run smoothly. Whether you are working in the oil and gas, chemical, food processing, or power generation industries, understanding control valves is essential. In today's video, we'll explore the basics of control valves, their types, components, and how they are used in instrumentation. So, let's start. At its core, a control valve is a device used to manage the flow rate of a fluids. It may be gas, liquid, or steam. Control valves do this by increasing or decreasing the flow passage based on the signals they receive from a controller. This adjustment directly impacts parameters like pressure, temperature, and liquid level. In instrumentation, control valves are a key part of the feedback loop. Sensors measure process conditions. The controller sends a signal and the valve adjusts accordingly. This cycle ensures the desired output, maintaining stability in the system. Now let's discuss the types of control valves. There are several types of control valves, each suited for different applications. Let's look at the most common ones. The first one is globe valves. Globe valves are the most commonly used control valves. They offer precise flow control and are ideal for throttling applications. Throttling is the process of limiting the flow of something, such as a fluid. The flow is controlled by the position of a plug that moves up and down inside a seat. The second one is butterfly valves. Butterfly valves are lightweight and compact. They use a rotating disc to control the flow, which makes them ideal for applications requiring quick shut-off or a moderate level of control. The third one is ball valve. Ball valves provide tight sealing and are perfect for on-off control applications. The ball rotates to either allow or block the flow, making it a popular choice for situations where leak prevention is critical. Now, let's discuss the main components of a control valve. We will break down the key components of control valve. Each part plays a critical role in how the valve functions. The first among the key components is the actuator. The actuator is what drives the valve. It receives a signal from the controller and moves the valve to the desired position. Actuators can be pneumatic, electric, or hydraulic. The second one is valve body. The valve body contains the flow path and is where the fluid passes through. It houses internal components like the plug, seat, and stem. The third one is positioner. A positioner ensures the valve opens to the correct degree based on the control signal. It acts as a fine tuner, enhancing the accuracy of valve positioning. Now we will discuss how control valves work in a system. Control valves are the final control element in a control loop. Here is a step-by-step -step breakdown of how they function in a process system. Step 1. Sensors in the system measure parameters like flow, pressure, or temperature. Step 2. Data is sent to the controller, which processes the information. Step 3. The controller sends a signal to the control valve's actuator. Step 4. The actuator adjusts the valve position, increasing or decreasing flow as needed. Step 5. The process stabilizes at the desired set point, ensuring optimal operation. 
So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any questions. See you in the next video.